I am back in some more Grand Theft Auto 5. We're on episode 25 of the Let's Play series and continuing on as always. Um, back with some more. Um, and yeah, we're pretty much back in uh, Los Santos now. Um, Woo, oh, we paid off Madrazo and everything. Um, so yeah, we're back in the city. Um, I don't know, we'll just probably keep cracking on with the game, I suppose, until I get it done. And what? I want that. That's rare as fuck. Come on! Jeez! Get off, get off, get off! I've like, yeah, I've got to get this. This is rare as hell. Nothing. Has Trevor got a lot of money? He's got a bit. Maybe we can... Do we buy... Maybe we can buy his, um... <coughs> maybe go, go and upgrade this and go and buy... His garage. No, I, I was wondering if these were in the game. Look, I can be a dickhead, look. <laughs> you guys are gonna wonder where his car is. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys are gonna come and find where his very poxy car is. Down the road. <laughs> Oh, here's a good one. Holy shit. <laughs> Got ya. <laughs> it's going with daughter without the consequence. Now, what happens if I... What happens if I take this in here with this? Here for the magic touch? Mm. And I say. Should be running better than ever. This is some special op stuff. Is this normal? It seems broken. It ain't like Cucaracha, but it'll do.
That should give you a boost. I wish I could do a bit more with the wheel zone. Like, that looks off there. Like, that's standard. We go off road. Where's muscle? Mm. Just wish I could fill them, fill it up a bit. <coughs> What's this color again? I like upgrading them. Hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. But Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Hey. Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia. I really miss you. Our time together. It's very important. I have to go. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I lost two hundred dollars there for something. What was that for? Somewhere to be safe. <clears throat> Still one like a bobcat. That's one thing in, G in San Andreas I used to love to do. Is um. I then try them. Um, I think he was on the PSP. I can't remember, but I think so. You could take like um, take them to the scrapyard and scrap vehicles for money. But it wasn't like a mission or anything. You could just do it with random cars that you find. Hey, thanks for calling back. You got to dress for success, man. That's not what. Too bad over. I saw one of these on Facebook Marketplace in England. For like eight grand. It's one of them classic American muscle car things. Oh, he's making such a fuss. He's so Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah, ah apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. 
You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. How do I take him to the cultists? Like he's a prime target to just take him to the mountains. Surely. What do you think he's doing? Well, it's a very big decision. from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please no! I, I, I have money on me. Lots of money. Good to know, Al. Good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Please, let me go. I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy. Shall we let him go? Movie critics. Are those crazy old Brits with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. Those fucked up power games, the things that woman made me do to her feet. Ah, you lucky boy. Older women are to be cherished, like a fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? Where are art? I, I got shit loads of art. I know you wouldn't want that. You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. Can I show a lamb gun? There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up, I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. They're not paying me anything. Then why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I won't tell so, I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. I won't. I fucking swear it. I can give you $10,000 right now. 10 grand. Okay. <clears throat> I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruitcake and Lady Scaroolus back there. No, 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 I, I promise to... Uh, take it all. Just... just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al.
Oh, I don't know how long my mic was muted, but what I was saying was, um, it, is it me or is this like from Top Gear? Like, you know, the reasonably priced car we had back in the day. Like a bluey, it seems like a Lexus or something like that. And it would be a cool reference because like, a reasonably priced car, two Brits in, from England, hiring something like this out. I don't know, maybe. Oh, I don't know how long, if I might mute for a minute there. So I looked down and I saw it a little, but I don't know if it was just because of the dialogue. But, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah it is well, is what it is. But yeah, we'll do this rage rampage. It might be the last rampage, to be fair. But this is a good one. Got hipsters in. God, th is that location? This location in Sons of Anarchy looks familiar. Yeah, ah, uh, maybe. Oh, this is hipster area, isn't it? <laughs> Coffee shops. talking about something that's very much pot I told him I'd make a movie about his ass and call it Cunts in America. But that will be the post-ironic use of the word cunt, both offensive and at the same time curiously anodyne. <clears throat> hey, what the fuck? I find your t-shirt more than a little offensive. There's one thing I cannot stand. It's post-ironic hipsters. If you don't like it, you can go back to Canada, dude. Come on, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, Run, God. you little fuck. Ow. Ow, this is hurting me.
You've ruined everything for everyone! Can I have the... the... name of the moped? Yeah! <laughs> We're just getting weird vehicles off Trevor today. If I get that and we upgrade it... Uh, where is a local? Where's that is the next one? So I wanted one of these. Well, we were riding around on one of these a few episodes ago, and I wanted to save it, but we didn't have the money to make it, get a garage, so. Might as well keep it going. Pretty rapid when you... Well, we're on downhill. But pretty rapid when, they, when you get them going. Wouldn't it be a bad idea to do some of the night street races as well? I don't know. I don't know if I'm too fussed about the yak tip dessert, should I? I don't know. Maybe. What brings you in today? That should do the trick. I don't know why I need his arm for. Hmm. Then we need to go obnoxious. Oh, that. That's good. <laughs> I like that. Moron. 
Calm wheels Listen, through, nobody likes you. I'm just a tourist, sugar. My fault, okay? I'm a Why hasn't baby. someone I'm sensible I'm shot you yet? You fool! <laughs> <laughs> In a bastard. We got some more clothes, new clothes for Trevi. Trevi. Old Trevor, bro. He is a hipster. <laughs> this is bullying. It's like Walter White. Yeah. It is, isn't it? That's a Walter White, look. Oh, yeah, that's... different yeah. same I'll do Two dollars in there. I suppose I got my money back.
cannot believe you standing me up again. You better not be with no bitch. We are gonna stop. I'm going to have a bit of a shopping spree today, so I might as well keep it going. So I think. Oh, Fra Franklin's weapons are alright. It's more, uh. Mike and Trevor, I suppose, now. Might as well be using good shit. Especially if we've got the money. Come on, Frank. Come on, bro. <laughs> Jeez, you look like you've been in the wars. <laughs> Smash through that off the fucking. As you can see, I run a very tight ship. See, that's a gun that won't let you down. I just wasted a shit ton of money there. That can get you in some trouble. Do they have any melee weapons? Ah, here we go. I apologize for the smell. Those tacos were a mistake. Don't try to take that through customs. Happy days, right. Let's uh should we continue on with the missions? I suppose. That is the plan. Oh, give me a break! Yo, I still need to holler at you later. I'm dead. You're gone. Oh, this might be where Trevor gets the script club. Maybe. Kinda don't need to be here anymore, I don't think. Oh, do that. Alright, let's get this bad boy in the van. Don't come any club. Fire at will. We've got a 211 on a suspect security truck. Respond code 3.
Almost died there, though. I miss you already. <laughs> uh oh. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. <clears throat> We've got to come back here. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup, accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but, but it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure, last year. I was on the way to the gathering with 
Gaithy Bell and Kush Kraik and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. It's the dodgy side to Trevor, because it, it, like, that's a bit fucked up, but he has a guy like someone like Michael who kind of uh, did the same, did the same thing it. to him. This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh yeah. <laughs> that guy like him, he's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here! Mm, right here! Here? Mm, here. Now I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie! Hey, you two! You two, I want you to give this boy a good time! <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. <coughs> Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Unbelievable. <coughs> Frank then? Oh no, Tro Michael. Hey Lester. Hey, uh Trevor just called about the um the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah. I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. <clears throat> wow, we're doing this already? Hmm. <clears throat> I thought there'd be a bit more to it. I, th I think there is. I think we'll probably we set it up and then things get kicked off. So I suppose we can go and get it set up. Hey, we got a car back. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. My practice is closed now, but you can tune into my new radio show for all your mental health needs. Where we had that email before. Just the wheels, they're a bit fucking stupid. 
Can I hang out with Amanda yet? This is Amanda. Unfortunately, I can't. I suppose it does feel a bit bad to drive. I suppose we could, uh, hang on, we'll go to the gun shop and sort Michael's guns out. And then we'll keep it going. There's still a lot to the game. Like we've got a lot of the FBI stuff to wrap up. Well, Bureau and yeah, wow. we've got bits to do. You really are the spitting image of my older brother. A personal favorite of mine. Find a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. I didn't mean to do that. Can you believe you can buy on the high street? If guns are a penis substitute, this is the schlong section. <laughs> Our minds. Short not to treat yourself. I look all right. I keep one of those by the toilet. You never know. You won't regret it. That's the thing. Inventory. Yeah, because in not GTA Online now, you can choose what weapons are in your inventory. I didn't mean to do that. My boy Mike, good to see you. City of saints and struggle, lost scandals, sand and trouble. I feel you. Give me a drink. That one. Ten nice bucks. Drink. Ten bucks. I don't sound right. What's good? I ain't tripping on that though. How 
fuck you doing? Woo! Nice titty meat, Gotta sweetheart. give me some kush after ride tripping on these fools. That's about right. <sighs> Sorry yeah, about that. Keep it going. Whenever I try and leave, they give me another dance. Struggling pain, struggling pain. Evil saints in my brain. All good. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Yeah, yeah I'm done with that. Frankly, shit, changed, right? man. I want to square things away <laughs> with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business, showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know... Happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on? <laughs> what's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah, sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. <laughs> the big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So, we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael, Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Was You'll this get so twenty percent of two hundred million, a maximum of two hundred million, if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, twenty percent of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful, terrifying, but useful. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. Seriously, man. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. <laughs> I didn't think it was. Now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part. And that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now. 
emails. He's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? I will, but I gotta talk to you too. You're. All right, we're here. Oh, come on. Talk to Michael, and come back to me. Oh, fine! Shit! I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Well, it would've been cool if maybe Brad was... This went 13.30. We got two hours before we need to be in Marietta Heights. Down. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Look, dog, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. What the fuck? <laughs> Trevor? Just freak out. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to... Be careful not to get too close to the prison! We'll trip an alarm! Good boy! Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, <laughs> if you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice. Once to distract them and once to get it done. You're going to find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank? Just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. I'm worried we're not going to make it! Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with him, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. Like tap into the like radio or something. Any more info? What that? about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route. We'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get-outs, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! 
thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. <sighs> the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. I'm just catching up, aren't I? <laughs> You see that like that guy just got whacked by one of them. Seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here to take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Told Frank that uh, he needs to change. <laughs> hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. Yeah, will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters. In a private army, okay? Well, there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. <sighs> Sorry, Michael. At least you changed, bro.
Another big ass mess on my property? Chop, I gotta train you to shit on the neighbor's yard. <laughs> Alright, um. Could go and hang out with Michael, maybe? Or Franklin? Um. No. What's his name? Maybe Lamar? I ain't seen Lamar in a while. Are we? Hey, what's up? Wanna hang out, man? You still alive, nigga? So, sure, nigga, come on down and holler at your boy, man, before one of us dies of old age. I won't be long. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit mellow today. But, like this game is kind of chilled me out in a good way. It's just nice to just enjoy the dialogue and the story. And it's, it's good. Go movies. I suppose that's more of a micro thing to do then. Um. I know, we'll see what we do. What's happening, homie? How you been? Ah, uh, nigga, you know. No, I don't know, nigga. That's why I asked. Shit, it's all good, my nigga. I'm just getting by. Moving on, huh? Well, let's get one thing straight, nigga. Tanisha ain't interested in your dog ass, and she don't give a fuck. Nigga, you always speaking on Tanisha like a bitch, nigga. We was together, now we not, nigga. That's that. <laughs> oh, nigga, how mature of you, nigga. Nigga, she a cool girl, though. But it wasn't meant to be, dawg. Oh, and now you're throwing your life away trying to get yourself all acceptable for when all the goddamn time you a jungle tiger, nigga, trying to turn yourself into a bitch-ass house cat. Yeah, nigga, that bitch want a nigga in a suit, nigga. She don't want no motherfucking killer on the prowl. Nigga, you got away with words, homie. That bitch can do what the fuck she wants, nigga. It's over. Yeah, whatever, nigga. If you say so. Yes, let's watch a film. And I can chill out for a minute. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of my way. Fucking try it. Sucks to be you. Man, fuck you. I'm a ass nigga. Shit. Oh, what the hell? Stay there, nigga. Yeah, Lamar, man. Fuck you, bro. When they want they man, man. Citizens report an assault on a civilian. Oh, come on. I fucking started it. In my face. Oh my 
get away with it. Good seeing you, homie. For sure, nigga. What's up? Listen, bro. I got something big, my nigga. Real big. And I'm gonna need you fresh and focused on this one, my nigga. Soon. Like I ain't never heard that before. Let's try not kill anybody this time. I'll just lay it by. No talking or toddlers. And please be considerate to your fellow moviegoers. No masturbating. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Antoine, réveille-toi, réveille-toi Pourquoi est-ce que tu dors Comment peux-tu dormir No estaba dormido, estaba durmiendo, pero despierto. Ta femme doit être remarquable. Ces rêves que tu as à la fois éveillés et endormis. Mais tu n'es qu'un simple voleur La guerra me hizo una puta. Y a ti una ladrona. ¿O era al revés? Freud a beaucoup d'explications à donner. ¿Quién ha dicho eso? ¿Dónde estás? Muéstrate. Antoine, ¿de qué hablas? S'il te plaît, Antoine. S'il te plaît. Esa voz. Tu parles de moi. Sí, tú. María, tú la escuchaste. ¿Quién era? Antoine, ¿qué es que te prends ces temps-ci? Depuis la mort de Luigi, tu n'es plus toi-même. Si tú lo dices, querida mía. Si te hace feliz, y así lo dices. J'ai marié un voleur, un bon, honnête voleur qui connaissait sa place dans la vie. Maintenant, ben maintenant, je suis coincé avec euh, un hermaphrodite. Une créature qui ne sait plus s'il est un homme ou une femme. Quel est le mensonge et quelle est la moitié de la vérité Pourquoi les choses doivent être aussi simples mais continuellement compliquées avec toi, Antoine Si, sí, Maria. Contigo, les choses ne sont pas si compliquées. Le carnicero vient et ouvre les piernes. La policière vient de détenir-me et ouvre les piernes. Le cura vient pour confesser. De nouveau, nous savons où il Tu aimerais te placer en victime, Antoine. Mais dans cette ville, nous sommes uniquement les prisonniers des prisons que nous construisons nous-mêmes. Pour être une calle et une esposa sans fe, tu as une forme de parler très ambigua. Elle ne t'a jamais aimé, Antonio. Qui Qui n'a jamais aimé Ça, je ne sais pas. Je ne suis qu'une voix qui n'existe que dans ta tête. De quoi parles-tu, Antoine Comme ta mère m'a dit. La misérable étendue de ta vie de rêve est un poids de plus sur la réalité prosaïque de notre réalité physique au jour le jour. Maria, 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 mi querida Maria, tu madre, perdóname, pero no me lo perdonaré si no confieso. Era una mujer horrible con un alma que robó del diablo. T'as pas honte, Antoine 
toi et les insuffisances de ton misérable subconscient primaire. Antonio Antonio Réveille-toi, réveille-toi Cállate Eres solo una voz en mi cabeza Déjame soñar en paz Est-ce que c'est à ça que tu veux réduire toutes les femmes, Antonio Une analyse réductrice du féminin est un archétype classique de ta répression. Oh, por el amor de Dios Deja de sonar comme mi esposa quand elle está pagando el alquiler por sí misma. Ta femme Est-ce qui je suis maintenant Espero que non. Peut-être suis-je Luigi, après que tu l'aies traîtreusement castré. A-t-on déjà considéré ça Nous l'avons considéré fuera de cámara muchas veces. Consideramos el modernismo. Predijimos el postmodernismo. Adoptamos el surrealismo. Refutamos la visión tecnocrática del futuro de la humanidad. Tantas maravillas hemos adoptado que me asombro del sistema educativo italiano. Fui educado por curas y aún así conozco toda la asfemia bajo el sol y flotando en el aire. Oh Antonio, maintenant c'est toi qui parles comme ta femme. C'est peut-être ton désir le plus intime d'être martelé jour et nuit par des bouchers et des prêtres et des policiers. Sugiere que deseo acostarme con otro hombre, porque quiero hacer cosas, y me odio a mí mismo por mis tendencias destructivas. Opino que es un poco simple, incluso para el subconsciente de un humilde ladrón. L'humilité est comme le paradis pour des hommes comme toi, énormément surestimés. Tu devrais choisir l'enfer. Au moins tu y connaîtrais des gens, comme Luigi. No hables de Luigi! Él no era ni siquiera un buen tipo! Enfin, on peut tous justifier l'incarnation de notre chute. Mamie Carl l'a fait, alors qu'il plongeait dans l'azur méditerranéen. El pensamiento classicista es la gran debilidad de l'alma contemporánea. Donc, tu admets que tu as une âme. Soy un comunista, un ladrón y un hombre de la gente. Las almas son por lo que la clase dominante nos encarcela. C'est quoi encore ce truc Qué cosa L'utilisation libérale de Deus Ex Machina. ¿Qué Oh, Luigi, creía que estaba muerto. Me mataste, pero te perdono porque ya no existo más. Entonces, la inmortalidad era un mito. Y no somos más que la encarnación física de nuestra propia neurosis. Eso es lo que dijo tu mujer mientras digería mi espada en la cama matrimonial. <risa> ¿Es esa la verdad? ¿La ansiedad subyacente de mi realidad? Eso que justifiqué por conveniencia. ¿Era en realidad la manifestación de los cuernos en mi cornuda cabeza? ¿Cómo puedes hacer esas preguntas a un fantasma? Escucha el susurro de una flecha mientras hiere su corazón. Ve que la flecha ha sido creada usando sus propias plumas. Ce cheval est d'une finesse, Antonio. No es un caballo, es mi vida. Un homme avec une simplicité physique de la sorte est un homme que je peux respecter. Dices que esa es mi habilidad para negar la humanidad, robando y conquistando a mis queridas criaturas, y que he creado el respeto hacia ti, bella mujer, que encontré en mi camino. No, él veut dire que dans toute ta superficialité, tu as encore une fois sublimé le féminin, jusqu'à la forme idéale du désir masculin. C'est comme ma mère a prédit que tu ferais. Es un error común entre traidores y entre pecadores y los reprimidos. Es solo a través de la expresión creativa. Un mundo vacío de color y únicos planos de cámara que nuestra verdadera naturaleza puede ser revelada. That was the weirdest thing I've ever watched. And I don't get why it's a thing. In something like this.
Alright, this is the most, the least. You know what, homie? I think I saw that before. Man, take me back to the hood, homie, unless you got something else cracking. I suppose you could go pop. Oh, he's right there, he does his brain strip. Yeah, like, I don't know. I th that's the thing, another reason. I think the entertainment and stuff was a lot better in um, GTA 4. Like, having stand up co comics like Ricky Gervais in your game, that's pretty good. But then, like, not even this, it's like shit. Impaired. Stay in touch, all right? That wasn't bad, it was just weird. Keep and there was a lot of GTA 4 references in it. It's pretty much made in GTA 4. It's kind of cool. Um. Go and drop this off of the house and then we'll probably crawl it. Unless there's a race, it is night time. Should we do a street race? Should we do it? Yeah, let's go do that before we end. So at least that's another one done. Cunt. Oh, fuck you. But yeah, after that film, we kind of got to do something a bit exciting. There's no nitrous in this. I thought there was. Same with hydraulics. It's like stupid that there's no. It's only until they do the. Uh, what do you call it? The off road in. No. Low rider update for GT Online. You have like proper low riders with the hydraulics and stuff. That was close. Laps. 
smashing it. Avoid that. Understeer. Is it understeer? Yeah. No, oversteer, isn't it? I don't know. Oh my god, we're fucking rapid. So powerful. How they caught up with me like that, that's bullshit. <laughs> this is get I love the when you get the speed up like this, it's crazy. Oh, I'm surprised I'm not dead there. Car up ahead. Oh almost choked there. It sticks to the road pretty good. Nice. Yeah, I guess um, we'll call it there today. Um, we'll get keep it going next time. Um, so if anything, we'll continue on in the next one. So yeah, if anything, as always, uh, thanks for watching, if you've been watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.